Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So 44 year old North Carolina resident Nathan Baer walked to the Capitol with the mob after Donald Trump's speech at the Ellipse. He was seen on the scaffolding that was set up for Joe Biden's inauguration. Um, he was up there for about 25 minutes. He was waving a MAGA hat around at the crowd below. After he climbed down, Bear headed to the lower West Terrace tunnel and he was seen just outside the tunnel. He was cheering others on when they were uh, doing their heave-ho pushes. Um, and so Bear entered the tunnel, but the police sprayed chemicals at the crowd right after he entered. So he turned around and he exited. A few minutes later, though, Bear entered a second time and he took part in one of those collective heave-ho pushes. And the prosecutor said that Bear braced himself against the tunnel wall to try to exert maximum force against the police. Within minutes, the police deployed more pepper spray into the crowd. This time, Bear remained in the tunnel, though, and he was seen handing stolen police riot shields up to the front of the mob. So they were using those, um, you know, defensively and also offensively, to, you know, against the police and also to protect themselves from the batons and from the, from the pepper spray that the police were deploying. Um, so he was then seen taking part in another heave-ho push, Bear exited the tunnel briefly, and then he entered again and took part in another collective push against the police. He passed another riot shield forward, and then he maneuvered toward the front of the mob, and then Bear participated in another push against the police. So, you know, multiple, multiple pushes. Within minutes, the officers started to gain uh, the upper hand, though, and they started to push the mob back toward the mouth of the tunnel. By this point, Bear was face to face with the police and he physically resisted their efforts to move him out of the tunnel. They managed to force him and the others past the entrance though. And this was when one of the terrorists grabbed officer Michael Fanone and dragged him out into the rabid mob. So this was when he was tasered, when he was beaten to the point of having a heart attack. And if you've seen the photos of that moment or video, you will recognize Bear because he was standing face to face, just directly in front, almost directly in front of Fanon, and he appeared to be speaking to him. Uh, Bear claims that he told Fanon, quote, it's okay, we won't hurt you. Uh, okay, <laughs> sure, whatever you say. Uh, so Bear was arrested on June 26th of 2023, and he was charged with civil disorder, entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, physical violence on Capitol grounds. And in April of 2024, Bear pleaded guilty to the felony charge of civil disorder. So he faced up to five years in prison, three years of probation and 250,000 in fines. However, the government requested only 11 months in prison, three years of probation and 2000 in restitution. And this was really funny. The FBI always interviews defendants after they accept a plea deal. And, you know, they're supposed to be 100% truthful because if they're not, the whole deal could be scrapped. Well, Bear put a little bit of a spin on his answers. He said he went to the Capitol hoping that people would be singing and praying. Uh, but when he arrived, he said he was heartbroken to see the violence. And Bear said he admired Gandhi's method of passive resistance. And he really hoped that there would be a big sit-in. <laughs> and then he went on to say that the police and the crowd were behaving in a way that was not right toward each other. <laughs> so, of course, he left right away, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Gandhi would have been pushing against the police, too. Um, and as usual, he is, you know, a hero in his own mind. He said that he entered the tunnel to try to help those in need. <laughs> like I say, we don't have to wonder why some of these people support Trump. We just need to listen and watch, right? <laughs> Birds of a lying feather. 
So U.S. District Judge Rudolph Contreras presided over Bear's case, and he ended up sentencing Bear to four months in prison, two years of probation, uh, that included four months of home detention, and then 2000 in restitution. Should have been a lot longer, should have been a longer sentence, especially with all of the lies he told. Uh, Judge Contreras has always been weak, though, so that's the best we could hope for with this judge, pretty much. I mean, in rare cases, he's stronger, but yeah. Anyway, I will let you all know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.